If you're new, welcome to the channel. My name's Ooh Abibs. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Uta underscore Beeps. So boom, like always, I gotta give a big thank you to Dan and a big thank you to Jim at Crawley Surplus Store. Jim and Dan gave me an Air Max to review. So, yeah, big thank you to them. Let's get into this. Boom, gang, as you can see, it comes in a hard case, nice little sleek hard case because you can fit a scope onto your rifle and it will fit in there so that's one positive thing but yeah you see it's got the Air Max branding. Let's go into the case now. Alright so boom gang, <clears throat> pardon me sorry. This is how the rifle comes. Hopefully you lot can see it. Minus the scope and the bipod. Comes with a probe and two O-rings. Can change if one blows. Comes with a magazine, an 18 shot magazine. Easy to use. All you gotta do is use your index finger, cover that hole. Put your other finger on the rotating part and then just get your pellet. Drop it in, use your thumb to rotate it. Oh, drop it in, use your thumb to rotate it. I'm looking in the camera, sorry. Use your thumb to rotate it and if you let go of that, it's locked there, so you're good. Shows you like all of the other rifles, all the specs of all the other rifles. Also as well, while we're in there, it comes with a CDR guns inspection list. So basically it shows the date, the serial number, make model number, make model caliber, power output. Let me show you look now. Chris from CDR guns tuned this gun with Bisley Magnum's 10.6 grains and it was shooting 11.8. Today, I'm gonna to be using the 10.34 grains JSB. So, our output should be decent. So, yeah, this is the checklist. You get another user's manual or the proper user's manual. That's just like showing you the rifles. This is the proper user's manual and also, it comes with this little target that shows the grouping. Yeah, gang. Let's get into the rifle now. This is the Air Max Catron CB in 177. In the first video, you would have heard me say, what's CB? I know what it was, but I just didn't want to make that video a review type video. I wanted to leave it till now, you get me? but. CB stands for carbon bottle. Let's start from the back like always. So boom, you got the butt stock, that's rubber. So it's got a nice little grip. It's adjustable as well. You got some screws here. Just use your Allen keys, loosen them, and you can pull it out to your desirable length. You got the cheek piece also that raises. You got the screws here again the allen keys loosen them raise it to your desired height i think i've got it there with the stock now you can see it's got spaces for two magazines here and so this is the 18 shot magazine basically when it's straight like this turn it clockwise and then you can push it in there and it locks I do like that, that is decent. Not only that, the stock as well, let me turn it round. If you can see here, there's a little magnet. There's also one here on the front on the handguard. There's also a button here, so the stock's foldable. 
It won't lock now because I've got the bipod on, but yeah, it's a foldable stock. So if you're walking around with it or anything, you're not banging it on the stock on your hip or your forearm or anything, you get me on. Decent, it's nice to walk around with. And you might can take a quick shot, you won't be as sturdy, but yeah, you can get a shot off quick. Nice and smooth, locks back, decent. Top of the rifle now. You've got a picky, you got a Picatinny rail, that's 20 MOA, means it's slanted, so you get longer shots. Below that now, you got the cocking lever, super smooth. Nice short throw, sir. Follow up shots, yeah, quick and easy. It's also changeable, so it's on the right side now, but you can change it to the left. Below the cocking lever now, you got the safety. Let me show you. Okay, it's actually on this side, but it's changeable, so you can have it on the right side if you want. Super neat. Let's move down to the trigger now. You got a two stage adjustable trigger. Super smooth. Right now, I've left everything as it was. The trigger is more like a one stage right now, but with a little adjusting, yeah, you can make it a two stage, but I haven't played with that at all. But the trigger's nice. Below the trigger now, just underneath the trigger housing, you've got a regulator adjuster. So if you're technical with the rifles, yeah, you can do your tuning here. Yeah. I'm not technical, so I left that alone. <laughs> you get me, but the grip now, you got an AR-15 style grip, which is changeable as well. You might have seen some people with the wood grip on there. Does look nice. Also with the cheek piece, comes, with a, comes in a wood style as well. All right, let's move forward now. Here, the breech, this is where you put the magazine, obviously. It's anti-double load, so you won't load two pellets by accident, you get me? I haven't done it, so I haven't seen what happens when you do load two, but yes, a decent system to work with. In front of that now, you've got the aluminium handguard with the little M-locks on the side, just in case you want to dress it up with anything like torch or whatever on this side of the handguard you've got the pressure gauge super nice ain't got to look down no barrel to check it you get me and underneath here just in front of the bipod that's the fill port that's where you fill up the rifle get me let's move to the front now you got a 300cc carbon bottle, 300 bar max fill. So you know that's a lot of shots. You get me? I didn't do the shot counts, but you know that's a lot of shots. On the, underneath the handguard now, you got a Picatinny rail. That's what the bipod's hanging off right now. The shroud now, you got a nice fluted shroud covering the 280 millimeter CZ barrel and it's choked. If you don't know about CZ, that's the big boy, so even though it's a little 280 millimeter or 28 centimeter barrel, yeah, it should do big things. But yeah, like I said, the nice fluted shroud's got a little nice design on there. And on the front now, it's half inch UNF threaded, so can put your favorite silencer on there. I do like this rifle. Did I miss anything now, gang? I don't think I did. One thing I gotta say though, I did have a problem. One problem that I did have was with the probe. The best fittings, when I put the best fittings on best fittings coupler onto the probe the air was escaping so I couldn't fill up the, the rifle basically so yeah that's the only downfall to this rifle the probe 
for you lot. Gonna give it the Oodla Beeves treatment, you get me? So boom, gang, let's get into it. Alright, so boom, gang, before we start getting busy with the targets, let me just give you a quick rundown. So boom, scope. I'm using the 6 to 24 by 50 Hawk Fast Mount AOIR. I've got the bipod on there, obviously. I've got the Donny FL Tanto on the front. I'm going to be using the JSB Exact Heavies 10.34 grain with the 4.52 head size. Also, ooh, almost lost them. Also, you look no, I ain't a fan of the magazine. So, big up Jim, Cooley Surplus Store. He gave me a single shot loader for the caption. Nice little, nice little addition, can't lie. Get me, just flip it down, put your pellet in, close it. Easy to use as well. Just open the lever. We're gonna call this bit the nipple. Make sure the nipple side is outside. And then just push it in real carefully. And then bang, good to go. So gang, let me go set up. Let's do some shooting. See what this catcher is saying. 280 millimeter millimeter barrel at 50 yards alright so boom gang cameras down there rolling 30 yards 5 shots at the dot let's do this Boom, gang, that's 30 yards. Let's move on to the 40. All right, so boom, gang. 40 yards. I'm still on the 30 yard zero. So you're gonna see a bit of a drop, but let's see how it goes. 40 yards now.
Bone Gang. That's the 40 odds. 50 odd time now. And remember, this is a 280 millimeter barrel. I'm used to fit 500 millimeter barrels, so that it's doing all right so far. But let's move on to the 50 now. All right, so boom, gang. Fifty yards. Camera's out there rolling. I did make the dot a bit more, a bit bigger, so I can see it a bit clearer. Card of forty. The dot was a bit too small, so I made this one a bit bigger. But fifty yard time now, man. So boom, gang. That's 50. I'm done shooting. Let's go take a look at the groups quickly. See what we're working with. So boom, gang. Group times quickly. But before we get into groups, let me just show you something. If you've got me on Instagram, then you know I went to the range the night before and done a video. But I didn't like it because I missed out on a lot of things in the review, so. But I did do some shooting up there, you get me? Second thing I want you lot to take note of, yeah? All of my five shot groups, there's a four shot group and one flyer. Even with the, the target that came in the box, on the hard case, sorry, you can see like there's a group of whatever and you got like one or two flyers. So should I take responsibility for the flyers? Oh no, but let me just show you the pictures from the night before. So boom, this is the third, yeah, as you can see here actually. Four in a group, one flyer, but it's all 5p. Get me. Let's move on to the 40 now. The 40, you can see it's a four in a group, one flyer. The four in the group is a 5P group, but the one, yeah, it messed me up. But this is when I noticed I was losing air. Like the air was running out on the rifle. And then show you the 50 now. The 50 again, the top 50. You can see I got a group of four and then one flyer. But I was saying that flyer, I didn't know what was happening, you get me? So I done another group of five shots underneath. And yeah, you can see the air was running out. I think when I finished shooting, it was on like 85 on the pressure gauge. So I just quit and went home. But forget that now. Let's get into the new groups with the 10.34 grains, you get me? 30 yards, you lot can see, that's basically just one hole. I got five through that one hole. 5p, easy. Let's move to the 40 now. Can you lot see that again? I got four and then one flyer. One of these is a pellet on pellet. You get me? But take note of this. Remember, there's three in a triangle, one flyer. I don't think I get the 5p under this. Nah. 
I got four under the five P at 40 yards. Let's move on to the 50 now. At 50 yards now, you lot can see one, there's one in the black dot. I think I got two through this one and there's one here. This one I can cover with a 5P just about. Oh. You lot can see I got four and a half pellets under there basically, sir. The catchings are right, and you have to remember I did not do a pellet test at all. If I'd done a proper pellet test, I could have probably got them all in that black dot. But with the 10 grains, yeah, done all right, sir. The capturing, it's a big boy rifle for the little 280 millimeter barrel. <laughs> but gang, let me get out of it, I'm done. So boom, gang, just like that, I am done. I'm so upset I gotta go bring this back, but we move on. There's other rifles out there that needs the Uta Beef treatment. You get me, sir? Big thank you to Jim. Big thank you to Daniel. Jacob was a big help in getting me to shoot this today as well, trust me. So big shout out to Jacob as well. Everyone at Cruelly Surplus Store. Like I said earlier, I don't really do the expensive rifles or the pricier rifles, but for the price of this and everything that you get, like the magazine holder, you normally have to buy that separate. You got the folding stock. For the price, it is worth it, sir. This is a definitely a go-to. You've seen the groups, man, and I could have got it tighter as well, but I didn't do the pellet test, you get me, sir? Yeah, gang, I'm out. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Uta underscore beefs. Let me know in the comments what rifle do you want to see next? Do you want to see the crate? Let me know. Gang, big up yourselves, man. Gang, in every gang, there is a man that'll bring that violence. You don't post, you don't snap, you just move real quiet in every game.